Life is this. I like this. I am somebody. I am somebody. I can change the world. I can change the world. The major mistake that everybody makes is waiting. Waiting to fucking feel like it. Waiting for somebody to pick you. Waiting for the right time. Waiting for you to feel motivated. It's not coming. For the big stuff, for the hard stuff, it requires a push, always has, always will. Nobody is coming to save your ass. It is up to you. And so if you want to change anything about your life, stop sitting around and wasting your goddamn life and start pushing yourself. Whether it's a fast or it is starting a business or it is changing how you talk to your spouse or it's changing the kind of parent that you are, you got one life. As soon as you open up your eyes, understand that you enter into consciousness. It is at that moment that your creativity is at its most powerful. At that moment, you have an opportunity to steer your thoughts and your emotions in the direction that you want them to go. In other words, you can choose to seize the day or you could let the day seize you. It's time to stay focused. It's time to decide, fuck clubs, fuck partying, fuck trying to fit in and socialize, rub elbows with everybody so people can stop calling you weird. Why are you so antisocial? Because I'm trying to get it. Why are you staying on the basketball court so much? Because I'm trying to get it. Why are you out there practicing in the hot sun when ain't nobody else out there? Because I'm trying to get it. Why are you not clubbing like every time I text you and invite you to go do something fun and cool, you always studying? Because I'm trying to get it. Let me tell you something, homie. These women ain't going nowhere. These clubs, these parties, all this shit ain't going nowhere. The more weird you are is a reflection of how committed you are to focusing on your shit, molding and shaping and developing your ideas and your craft so that when it's time for you to make your rounds, you're going to fly. I think we can all agree that today, too many people wake up in the morning and as soon as they open up their eyes, the first thing they focus on is the grueling day that they had the day before all the things that didn't turn out the way they wanted it to go. Then they start thinking about the grueling day that lies ahead of them, the traffic jam that they have to be into. And then they can't understand why, when they're going into work, their energy level is down here. And with what you're trying to accomplish, with the responsibility that you have, it has to be up here. It has to be up here. So what I'm asking you to do, as soon as you open up your eyes, before you take the covers off, before you plant your feet on the floor, is to think of something or someone that you are totally grateful for in your life. I don't care who it is, and I don't care what it is. Maybe it's the person lying next to you, maybe you're thinking of your children, the dog that's lying on the side of the bed, the cat that's lying on the other side of the bed, maybe you're listening to the birds outside the window in your house, maybe you're thinking of your home. Maybe it's a particular goal that you achieved or someone that you helped a couple of days before. Folks, it doesn't matter what it is or who it is. Just feel it with your heart and soul and keep building from there. I wrote myself a check for $10 million for acting services rendered and I gave myself uh, five years, or three years maybe, and, uh, and uh, I dated it Thanksgiving 1995 and I put it in my wallet and I kept it there and it deteriorated and deteriorated and stuff. And, uh, and uh, but then just before Thanksgiving 1995, I found out that I was going to make $10 million on, I think it was Dumb and Dumber. Maybe. When you truly have a vision for your future that inspires you, you're going to jump up out of bed in the morning and feel great about going at life versus being miserable and going to a job you hate or living a life that doesn't empower you and just, you know, every day moving through just almost like an automaton, not really, you know, having the zest and the great the greatness of life. I think that the, the number one thing is you have to have a very clear vision, a very clear goal of where you want to go, because only then you will get there. Uh, you can have the best airplane 
or the best ship in the world, but if the captain doesn't know where to go, he will just drift around. If the pilot doesn't know where to go, he will just drift around with his plane. So it's, I think the key thing is that we know where we're going and that you're very passionate about that. You, you see it always in front of you, the goal. And the other thing that's important is, is that you got to shoot for the top. You got to go and really have big goals and think big because then you're going to get big. Then you're going to go and achieve big things. That is the most important thing. You know, we don't achieve big things by accident. Make a choice, right? You just decide what it's going to be, who you're going to be, how you're going to do it. Just decide. And then from that point, the universe is going to get out your way. It's like it's water. It wants to it wants to move and go around stuff, you know. Write down everything you want to do. And I don't mean crazy shit like I'm going to be the prince of Brunei. I'm going to have a base in the moon. Shut up. This is what I want you to do. Write write down what you would like to fix about your life. And then just if you're 30 pounds overweight, you want to lose 30 pounds, do it the right way. Go start eating vegetables, monitor your calories, write down what you eat, exercise every day, force yourself to do it. Say you're the general, the brain is the general, the troops are the body, get up and you do it. And then you get to write it down. And if you don't write it down, you don't eat, you don't jerk <laughs> off, you don't shower, write that shit down so you do it. Just do it, make yourself do it. And if you do that, if you write shit down and do that, you can change who the fuck you are. I just believe that, I, I believe that I can create whatever I want to create. If I can put my head on it right, study it, learn the patterns, I feel very strongly that we are who we choose to be. So, I want to encourage you right now, don't give in, go for it. Don't give up, don't throw in the towel. And even if your back is up against the wall, even if you are on the ropes and you are receiving a rope but dope financially, listen, you got to fight back. You don't get in life what you want, you get what you fight for. And when you decide that my future, my health, my marriage, my freedom, my happiness, my joy, my peace, my children is worth fighting for. You are securing your breakthrough. All right, listen and listen well because no truer words are ever gonna be fucking spoken. You can do anything you want without limitation, whatever it is that you decide you want to make come true in your life, you can do that. It is going to take an inhuman amount of work. You're going to have to be prepared to break yourself in half. You are going to have to learn more than anyone has ever learned. You're going to have to push yourself harder than anyone has ever asked you to push yourself before. You're going to go way beyond your breaking point. You're going to run until you vomit. You're going to study until you fall asleep. You're going to push and push and push and then you're going to push some fucking more. And when you hit the limit, you're going to push again beyond that. You're going to force yourself into an adaptation response. And why? Because as Malcolm X said, the future belongs to those who prepare for it today. So if you don't put the work in today, if you don't do the unending, back-breaking work of developing yourself into something greater, the world is going to pass you by. The people that are going to own it are going to be the ones that did that work. And the one promise that I can make you right now is that somebody, somebody out there is outworking somebody right now is doing the things that I'm saying. Somebody right now is doing the work of failing and getting up and getting better and pushing themselves and triggering that glorious adaptation response that makes humans the apex predator. Someone right now, they're putting in that work. And if you don't, the future is gonna belong to them. And as Martin Luther King Jr. said, if you can't fly, then run. If you can't run, then walk. If you can't walk, then crawl. But whatever you do, you have to keep moving forward. It's not okay to make excuses. It's not gonna slow people down. It's not okay to ask the world to stop so that you can step out front. It's not okay to expect little of yourself and demand great rewards. The only thing that's okay 
is to be in line with the way that the world really works. And if you want to be great, you've got to become capable of greatness. You've got to develop your skill set. You've got to take what you have now, and if that's crawling, then fucking crawl. But you drag yourself ever forward to a vision of yourself that is so clear and so specific that nothing could knock you off your path because you, my friend, know exactly where you're going. You're willing to pay whatever price it takes to get there. And no matter what anybody says, no matter how many fucking hecklers come for you, no matter how many people try to throw dirt on you, try to stop you, try to knock you down, no matter how many fucking people come for you at night while you sleep, you will rise and you will keep pushing forward and you will get better every day. And no matter how many times people chop at you, knock you down, knock you off the path, you will get back on, you will crawl till you can walk, you will walk till you run, and then you will run until you fly. And that, my friends, is the only path forward. So if you want a fucking future that makes you happy, if you want a world that you're excited about, get your ass out there and earn it.